Hi everyone, today I want to talk about prey, but specifically about some people say, well, why, why when I pray, God doesn't answer me? You know, God, the Bible says God listens to the prayers of the righteous. You know, why does not God answer me? And I felt to, to speak on this today when I was trying to get in the presence of God. I it just came to my spirit. And remember, we are made in the image of God. And sometimes when people ask us for things, we say yes. Other times we say no. However, when we say no, we have our reasons for saying no. There are certain reasons. So the first place I'm going to take you to is the book of Genesis chapter 29. And that is where we see the story of Rachel and Leah. And if you don't know Rachel, uh, if you don't know the story of Rachel and Leah, this is when Jacob falls in love with Rachel and he wants to marry her and he works seven years for her. But Laban, his uncle, tricks him and gives him his older daughter, Leah, and then tells him to work seven more years for Rachel. So there's it's a love triangle. And we see how Leah is jealous of her sister, Rachel because obviously Jacob loves Rachel more and he completely rejects Leah when he wakes up and finds out this is not the woman I wanted to marry. So Leah is very sad and, and very upset. And when, when God sees that Leah is despised, okay, when God sees, when Leah cries out to God and, and God hears her and God sees she's despised, it says God gives Leah more children than Rachel, number one. And number two, God allows Leah to have the firstborn of Jacob, which is very uh, honorable for a man. Not just that, Leah was the first wife. She was the first and the last because Rachel died and Leah was still alive and got to enjoy her husband for more years being by herself with him. So we see how God is so just. However, when Rachel sees that Leah's having sons for Jacob and that she cannot, then she becomes jealous. She cries out to God. First, she cries out to her husband, in which her husband says, I can't do anything. I can't give you children. Then she cries out to God and God sees Rachel and God has mercy on Rachel. So God gives Rachel Joseph. And then the Bible says that Jacob loved Joseph most because he was the firstborn of Rachel. And then, of course, we, see, we know that Rachel wants more and God gives her Benjamin. So we see how God answers both of these women's prayers and, and both of these women's desires. Imagínate, he knows that, that they're both suffering and, and God is a good God and he's, he's an amazing God. However, when we look, if we go to 2 Kings chapter 20, verses 1 through 7, it says that there's this man that he has a sickness as a guy and, he's good, and, and the prophet Isaiah goes to him and says, God says to prepare your house because you're not going to survive, you're going to die. And the Bible says that Hezekiah turns over and weeps and says to God, God, I have served, you know you, I have served you faithfully. And he's there talking to God. And God says that he told prophet Isaiah, go back and tell him that I'm adding 15 more years to his life. So here we see how God, how God answers another man's prayers. But he answers it because this man tells him, look, this, 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 this. He, he speaks to God reasonably. Like if you had a boss and you're like, hey, boss, I want to raise. But the reason I want to raise is because I've never called out sick. I've never missed to work in five years that I've been working for you. I do this, I do that. And the boss is like, you know what? Everything you're saying is true. Give her a raise. God listens to this man's prayer and God answers it. If you go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter 15, verse 1, this is something that that kind of gets me jealous because I want this kind of relationship with God, but that it's beautiful in, in, in my eyes. Um, there's these people and they're, 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 God is upset with them. He's going to punish them. And he says in Jeremiah 51, he says, even if Moses and Samuel were to ask me about these people, I would not listen to them. So guys, this is basically God saying like, you know what? Moses can butter me up because he has in the past when he, when he would say, oh, but God, your reputation, like don't destroy the Israelites because what are people going to think? And God was like, you know what? You're right. I'm going to listen to your prayer. And when Samuel would pray, the prophet Samuel would pray to God. God would listen to him, right? So here God is saying, even if these two men that I always listen to because of their relationship with me, because I love them, even if these two men were here and they would pray for these people, I would not listen to them. And it's not about the man praying, it's about the people. It's about what the people have done that have made me so mad that I would not listen to them. So sometimes it's not even about the person praying. Sometimes the person praying is righteous or sometimes the person praying is right or something. But it's not about that. It's about, it's something deeper. It's something that maybe we don't understand. It's maybe God saw something in the other person you're praying for that God says, no, 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 I'm not going to do it because there's something that I know that you don't know that went on, you know, or, or for whatever reason, but sometimes God will not. And, and you might say, but why, but, but God knows that I'm suffering, but this person is innocent, but why would God allow this? 
but you don't know there's there, god is unknowing god is look at hope look at everything hope suffered hope lost all his children and everything and and you might say well but that was mean because you know god knew what hope was going through and it was all because the enemy tempted and what was the purpose of it but there is always a purpose okay god is a just god god does not do anything that is harmful we however need to learn how to pray and when we pray we need to always pray god's will always pray god's will because and this is where i'm going god the father didn't even answer his own son jesus's prayer and you say sandra where is that in the bible easy luke chapter 22 verse 30, uh, 42 and matthew chapter 26 verse 39 jesus said father let this cup pass from me but then jesus says but not my will your will be done so actually he did answer his prayer but when it came to god's will because God, you know, no, 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 Jesus is asking me this because Jesus is in the middle of his pain. He's in the middle of his crisis and he can't understand the victory. He knows, he knows, but he, in the middle of his pain, in the middle of your pain, you're so crushed that you cannot see. It's like you blind yourself. You're like, I can't go on with this pain. I'm, I can't live, I can't live with this. I, I need this to be removed from me. And God is like, no, what's coming further if you endure this, it's complete joy. It's complete happiness. It's complete victory. And this is where, where, where we have to learn how to pray, not my will, but your will be done, you know? So if had Jesus prayed, take this cup away from me and not your will, and the father would have listened to him, I'm sure Jesus would be regretting it right now. And I'm sure Jesus is so happy that the father did not listen to him say, oh, take this cup away from me because he had to endure and suffer what he endured and suffer in order for him to obtain the victory over death and bring salvation and redemption to us. So you know there's there's even in my own life like i used to pray before god save this person save this person save this person i want to be with this person save with this person and honestly a person you cannot force anyone to do anything a person it's very um it's very individual when a person decides if they want jesus or if they don't and in this case this person yeah they accepted jesus yeah this but they wouldn't commit and 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 they they don't the Bible says that an unwavering a double-minded man cannot receive anything from god in the book of james it says an a double-minded person cannot receive anything from God. So if I'm praying, God, this, 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 God is saying there's no commitment, there's no this, I can't do nothing for you. So then I had to learn how to pray, God, your will, God, your will be done, God, your will be done. And when I saw it was too hard for me because I struggled because because it was a person that I really cared about, that I really wanted to be with, but, the, but before anything, God comes first. So I was like, if this person doesn't want God in their life, then I cannot be with this person. So as much as I wanted it, because I had, I had someone tell me one time, oh, but you don't really love me because if you really love me, then it wouldn't be a big deal if I go to church or if I love God. And I said, no, you're wrong. I'm like, because if you really love me, then you, it wouldn't be a big deal for you to go to church or to love God. It goes both ways. So, um, so my point is that the other prayer I prayed after was God. <laughs> I said, God, please, Lord, so that I won't reach out to him and so that he won't reach out to me. Give him a girlfriend where he can be entertained with to that point. And God listened to that prayer. And I cried like a baby. I was like, I'm not ready for you to answer that prayer. But sometimes we just got your will. And then, man, and then time goes by. And you're like, what was I thinking? Like, it's it's the moment that you get so, so upset with. And God is so precious that even the little details, like even little prayers, even things that you might think are insignificant, like one time. I went to go pray in the morning, really early in the morning. And I said, God, I said, I really, I can't stand the humid. I don't want humid to be outside. I don't want there to be bugs outside. Like that bothers me. I'm like, please, when I go pray, let it be like cool. Let there not be bugs. In Jesus name, I pray. And I went out the day before there was a whole mess of bugs. That day, I prayed that because of that. That day I went out, no bugs. It was cool. So even in the littlest things, when it's, when it's something that it's not, egocentric or it's not selfish it's it's god's will or it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with if it's gonna affect um someone else or not god is god listens god listens to our prayers but when god says no there is a reason behind it and i'll give you an example if your child that is five years old asks you for a knife are you gonna give the knife to your child even no matter how much he screams or no matter how much he cries are you gonna give it to him and the answer of a good parent would be no because you know that that, that, that that child can enterrarse cuchillo, cortarse, anything like that. So it doesn't matter how much he cries, there is a reason that the father knows or that the mother knows that that child does not understand. 
just like a kid that's 10 years old saying oh mom give me the keys to drive your car i want to drive your car uh no i don't i'm sorry i don't think so you're, you're not at the age to drive a car and that's very dangerous and because i don't because you're not ready i'm not saying you're never going to drive a car but you are not ready right now to have those keys in your hand right now if i give that to you at such an early time and such an early age it's actually going to destroy you it's actually going to harm you and you might actually die before your time so sometimes a father's answer is no and we have to learn to accept the no as much as we accept the yes we have to learn to trust god even when his answer is no we have to learn to trust god even if his answer is not right now we have to learn to trust god even when we're feeling pain we have to learn that everything that god does is for good of those who love him so i just felt like um speaking on this and i hope that it ministers to someone so god bless you and have a nice day